Tinder app and we are going to learn how we can save connections to the database. And I'm going to grab our database right here and I'm, the, the, I'm going to explain to you how we are going to structure it. So, we'll have a child in, inside each uh, user and inside it, uh, that child will be called connections. Then, inside it, we'll have a node child. Let's set this to true. And a yep child. And we are going to set it true as well. Just save it at the moment. Then, inside each of these childs, we'll have um, what the current user. So, if I'm swipe, if I, uh, this user appears to me, and I swipe uh, right, which is the nope, then my user ID will appear inside this child and it is going to be equal to true because that's the way we save it and that way we know uh, which user has uh, swiped right or left. So I'm going to delete this and we are going to go straight into the code. So let's grab our project here it is and now the first thing that we need is the 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 child the the database reference I'm sorry for the this child here so let's create it and let's say private database reference whose users db and inside here we are going to to give it a value which is not going to be completed but it's it starts out with something and we can make sure it isn't null from the beginning so firebase database as always get instance get reference the same uh, the same recipe so, and I'll say users, users, users with a capital U. Don't forget that we are using the capital U and Firebase makes it that distinction. <coughs> Sorry. So, next up, we are going to uh, move to our next step, which is going to be to actually get the user ID that's appearing on our screen um, uh, from the card. So, as you may remember from our past lessons, and I still have that those tabs opened, we have uh, in each card, which is in each... Let me just load. It doesn't appear to be loading, so... Oh. Okay, it doesn't matter. So you have the cards that you swipe left or right. So, and each in each card you have um, an adapter with this information, with the name and the user ID for an help. We'll add more later. So, if we want to get that information out of there, uh, we can do it really, really simple. So to do that, we simply get the database uh, I'm in the wrong f f where it is it is here so we get the data object and we tr transfer uh, transfer it to a variable of the type card and that should gives us the, um, the information that we need so in order to accomplish that we say cards which is this class here the adapter uh, let's call it object like this and say within parentheses cards data object and this will allow us to transform uh, a variable of the type object into cards and that way we'll be able to read it and to, to know the values so the first thing that you want, we want is the user ID going to be object dot and 
this should appear to you and as you can see you can get the user ID which is uh, the function that's inside here get user ID so get user ID and if you wanted to get the name but you don't need it you simply say get name obviously that's um, that should be uh, really straightforward so now we want to pass uh, to create a child uh, when this left card uh, uh, when we actually swipe left so in order to do this again we simply call the user db as you can remember is the one uh, the database reference that points to uh, the child users and we say child and now here's a, a thing because we have the female and male <coughs> then we must know what uh, what what is what so what are we swiping on it is it, is it female or male and thankfully we've all already taken care of that in the um, not the previous lesson, but like in lesson number four, I believe, or even earlier than that, I can't remember at the moment, but we have the user sex and the opposite to user sex. So for now, we are going to use the opposite to user sex. Let's grab it, paste it there. Then say child user ID, which is the user that's currently on the screen. Then create another child for the connections. And because this is the left car, uh, left swipe, we are going to say nope. And you can call it uh, wherever you want, wherever you feel more comfortable with. I thought these were the, the best words for it, but if you find any better, please do uh, use wherever you want. And now say current user ID, UID, which we've already created, it's up top in, in here and set that value to true and that's it now let's grab this, uh, this code and paste it into the right with one big except exception you say yups when in the this child okay that's really important otherwise it won't work so uh, before uh, finishing this lesson up I, we just need to make one more thing which is if you sw uh, when we you swipe uh, on any user you shouldn't be able to see that user again okay so unless the the other user swipes uh, right and you swipe right and in that case it will go to our to the um, to the matches which we haven't done yet but we will uh, then unless that happens the user that's currently on your screen will never show up again so to make sure that happens all you have to do is to check for this same um, database reference to see if uh, there is a, a user that matches our user ID or not so we can go in here let me see get opposite sex user users and we can go in here and say if data snapshot exists and not data snapshot dot child connections dot child and unfortunately we'll have to divide this uh, dot child nope dot has child current user UID and now we can grab all these copy and paste that and do the same for the yups so if our uh, our user ID doesn't exist within these two uh, locations we can move on and add that uh, person to our card uh, view and that's basically it uh, we are going to run it and see if everything check checks out and there are no errors so I'll see you in a bit so the app finished loading and I'm going to grab the database 
So you can see it's working. Let's log in with the mail accounts. You can do it with whatever you want. So let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Log in. And it shows up, the female one. And now let's uh, swipe left. And we, when we swipe left, uh, a child connections and then a child nope and a child with and within it a child with our user id should appear so let's try it and there we go it created successfully and the yet the the yaps obviously work as well because only the name change so let's try one more thing which is the let me grab the application which is this if to check if it works so let's sign out and log in again, just make sure it clears everything up. At mail.com123456. And it shouldn't appear, and it doesn't. So yeah, everything is working. Thank you all very much for watching, it is all for today. Um, as always, please do leave a like, subscribe, donate if you can, and follow me on Twitter. I, uh, one more thing, I have my full setup linked down below, so if you want to check that out, you have it, at the, you have it available. So yeah, I'll see you again tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah.